This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. I've been teaching this particular workflow for some time now. You may want to use it when you're doing building analysis in Revit MEP. And even if the architect has provided you with a Revit model, his actual building model is really no good to you. You can also use it as a documentation process. The aim here is to build an architectural model quickly and efficiently using 2D drawings that are available to create a 3D wireframe model. In one of our previous exercises, we went through the process of cleaning up 2D CAD files. This is where we start using them for real. I'm going to create a new project. I'm not too worried about the template right now. And I'm going to click OK. For the time being, I'm going to go to my north elevation. I'm going to delete level 1 and delete all the corresponding views. And I'm going to rename level 0 to level 1. I know that's how the architect has named his files. The floor plans in this file are no good to me. So I'm going to delete those as well. And the ceiling plans. So to start, I'm going to go to the View tab, create a plan view, which will be a floor plan, and create level 1. This floor plan, as I've shown in previous exercises, is going to be an architectural base plan. So We'll change those properties. Now I'm going to go to the Insert tab and link a CAD file. I'm going to browse to my Working Folder directory, select my Level 1 floor plan, make sure colours are set to black and white, and set the positioning to Origin to Origin. Click on Open and zoom to fit. Before I link any more drawings into this file, I'm actually going to create the building grids. This will help me position the elevations when I link those in. By now you've probably found out that I'm fond of making light work of anything I can. So, what's the deal with this? I'm going to go to the Architects tab and create the building grids. I can create the building grids by using the pick lines tool. And I can do this by selecting a building grid. Here you can see this is named this grid, grid one. Let's change it to A before I start selecting the rest. Let's carry on with some of the others. As you can see, this is now naming them sequentially. But before I get too carried away, I'm going to skip F1 and go G, H, I, J and come back for F1, which I can then rename. Now I can do the numerical grids. Go back to the Architects tab, click on Grid, select Pick Lines and start with the first one. This one I'll change to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and come back to rename the last one, 5.1. I'm now almost ready to start linking the elevations. There's one last thing I want to do before that. Let's go to the north elevation, and you can see here that these grids are fairly short. So I want to stretch them, so at least they're going to appear fairly reasonably when I bring the architectural files in for the elevations. Because I've used this 3D grip, if I go to the south elevation, those have also been stretched. So let's go to east and stretch those.